Hi, my name is Joe Reinhardt, and I've been active in the Cisco networking community since 1998. Now, during that time, I've actually gone through a number of the different certification studies and journeys that probably many of you have. My very first job in the industry was as a, an account representative, basically a sales guy, for a small internet service provider in Seattle, Washington. I knew nothing about the industry. In fact, my previous career was, dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God, and so forth and so on. I was an ordained minister. Moving from that to a completely different career was quite challenging. I sent out 80 resumes and got three responses, one of which turned out to be the company I went to work for. And when I got there, I decided that I didn't want to be just a talking head. I wanted to actually understand the things I was trying to sell to people. And so that's what sparked my interest in Cisco. I actually went to work for AT&T shortly thereafter in 2000, and I earned my Cisco Certified Network Associate Certification, the CCNA. Not content to stop there, I went on to the CCNP, and eventually the CCDP and the CCIE, the Cisco Certified Internet Network Expert, which I earned in 2004. Now, for those of you who may get discouraged about failing tests, let me just set you at ease. I failed the CCIE lab exam, exam four times before I passed it, which was very expensive and very, very frustrating. So trust me when I say I feel your pain. Now, in order to be able to be successful in Cisco certification, you have to actually have a study plan. You need to be able to figure out what your goals are, what your capacity is, and how you best learn. For instance, I'm a visual learner. I learn well by reading. Some people learn by hearing lectures and other people talking to them. And all of us, to some degree, respond well to hands-on learning, which I'm a big fan of. So chances are pretty good you need good materials to study from and some sort of a lab environment. We can talk about that in future blog entries. But I just wanted to start out to let you know that I have been on this journey. I understand the pitfalls, the ups and downs. I had to do all of my own studying at my own expense. And so I want to do what I can to be able to help guide you through this. So look for more posts as time goes by. And I hope you enjoy your Cisco certification journey.